Hey there, Crafty Pandas! Ready to invite your friends over for a fun hangout? But that interior design of yours doesn't feel very cozy. Get that box full of old stuff because we're about to do some recycling to spruce up that dull room of yours. Three, two, one, let's go! Where are you off to, Emily? Whoa! Well, anyway, your road ends here. In the middle of a pile of pearls. But that can also be a shiny drop of inspiration. No need to keep those ideas bottled up, Emily. Take a fishing wire and begin stringing the pearls onto it. Believe me, the more, the better. It ain't just gonna hang on your neck. Then throw a dash of hot glue on a glass bottle and stick the pearls all over it. Brilliant! Cut off that remaining fishing wire end and that's it. It's way better than keeping those pearls hidden in a box. It's best to keep them bottled up like this instead. Just the perfect spot for this flower. Indeed, it looks bouquet. <laughs> I know it's mesmerizing, but we've got to go, Emma. Let's go. I'm sure there's a way to pass this testing chamber somehow. Finally. But there's another puzzle waiting for you, though. The cake may be a lie, Emma, but those mirrors aren't. You get the idea, right? For this, you will need adhesive LED strips. The length has to match the perimeter of your oval mirror. Attach it on the other side of it, just like that. And prepare yourself a piece of wire so you can hang the mirror on the wall. Oh, and it has to be specifically orange. Hang the mirror with the blue LED light in front of the orange one, and you've got yourself a portal going straight through dimensions. Every testing chamber looks puzzling at first, but they will get the idea soon enough. Nothing beats a good Sunday cleaning spree, right Jess? That lamp of yours sure ruins the whole picture though. Yuck. I don't think that cleaning is mm -hmm. the solution here. You will need some stronger chemicals to get rid of all this. Moss. Ooh. Or maybe that extra greenery isn't so bad. What do you think, Jess? Take the lamp cover and, using hot glue, arrange those small bushes of moss. Don't be shy, cover up the whole surface. Kind of reminds me of a green forest on a hill. Just a small version of the hanging gardens of Babylon, right there above your dinner table. What a magical wonder you've got there, Jess. I guess moss isn't really picky when it comes to where to grow, right? What an amazing party, Jacob. Why not call it a night without waiting for the night to come? Don't worry, folks. Dance music beat coming up. Do you hear anything? Nah, I think those are just the neighbors. Mice in the pipe? Is that all the volume you get out of that phone of yours? Ugh, party in a nutshell. Let's just gather those cups and end this. Boredom. <laughs> Take that disposable cup and cut the bottom part off. Do the same to the remaining cups. Now paint a cardboard box black or any other color and cut out six round holes. Do the same on the other sides. Make another gap for your phone right there. Insert the cups. The bigger the box, the more you can fit. DIY boombox coming up to save the party from this agonizingly awkward silence. I mean, its spectacular appearance is already changing the atmosphere. Just wait till you hear this super awesome special sound amplifying effect. The party is on! All right.
Hi! Just a couple of strokes and, well, every queen needs something luxurious for her gorgeous neck. So where's your fancy and shiny jewelry box, princess? I guess you will have to go with a more minimalistic look today. Unless a magical tree pops up that will grow some shiny accessories for you. Take an old dry branch and cover it with silver spray paint. Grab a flower pot and fill it with cement. This is where you plant your magical tree. Let it dry. You can take it out of the pot now. That's it. The branches are the perfect spot for your jewelry. This way, they will never get tangled up and will always be ready to sparkle up that princess look. Perfect! Well, Lauren, the prince is waiting for you. Hurry up! Ah, so many memories. Now, these shall take the honorable spot on the cabinet. Well, this isn't working out. Might as well store them in the photo album and forget about them. Not happening. Are you planning to keep the digital versions in CDs? Wrong. The era has long passed, so get rid of those CDs. We will be needing the case only. Put the photo inside instead of the cover. You might need to crop it a little. Now use hot glue to attach some more cases with photos. Let's make a whole box while we're at it. Yep, it's that simple. A box full of memories that no one's going to forget. Flip through different sides of the box and keep those precious memories close to you. And feel free to store other items inside. Whether it's a lamp, a plant, or a candle, it's your call. The garage is the perfect spot to store items and forget about them later. Every time you enter, the walk down memory lane begins. Joshua was so crazy over outdoor activities. They still seem to be good for another round of badminton. Oops, not anymore. There goes the memory. But you know, we're a lot craftier now than before, aren't we Joshua? If you happen to have a mirror that is the same size as the racket, feel free to insert it. Just don't forget to use glue to fasten it. But these things come in pairs. So make another one and connect them using a bit of thread. Instead of an old pair of rackets, you've got yourself a cool home decoration to remind you that the same child is still there, but a bit different. Sugar, spice, and everything nice. All these ingredients plus Chemical X were chosen to create the perfect thumbs up. So don't forget to smash that like button, Crafty Pandas. Subscribe to our channel and leave a comment down below. Jess just came back home from the market and her dress decided to get caught up in the doorway. There goes another fashion favorite. Any chance you can salvage it for scraps? like into something that would help you set up those newly bought pots. Lay down the dress and cut it out into vertical strips. You'll need six for this piece. Tie a knot on the very end, space it out, and separate the strips by two. Tie them together with a simple square knot. Next step, shuffle a bit and connect the strips together with the following strip. Depending on the pot, you might need to do this three or four times in total. And it doesn't have to be too perfect. Once you're done, just knot up the top. And you're ready to put in your pot. Set it up high so your plants will look like they're part of a fabulous floating garden. Well done, Jess! Well, hello there. It's that time of the month Time for some deep house cleaning, Jacob. Who could have known that a fallen book would point out this box filled with nostalgic memories? Wow, these soldier figurines are just too cool. No way, is that you, Jacob? That's so cute. Jacob is going down memory lane, back to when he would have a blast playing with these plastic soldiers. Those were the good old days. 
I think we should go full Toy Story mode on this hack. Let's start with a bunch of plastic soldier figurines. You'll need to grab a frame, take out the back and hot glue the plastic piece to it. Do it for Crafty Panda. Now go ahead and be generous with the rest of the pieces. Our soldiers need to stick together, literally. Camouflage them with some spray paint for some extra shine. Just redo an ancient photo and you'll have yourself a 10 year challenge right there. Amazing job. You managed to bring those figurines back to life. This playful frame does make the picture stand out. Sarah just finished hosting a great party. Her last two friends are just about to leave her all by herself. Unfortunately, every celebration comes with a great responsibility. The lonely after party cleaning routine can get you down. It's a shame we need to throw all this junk out. Maybe. Sarah can salvage some of these paper cups and reuse them instead. Take a pencil and outline your desired shape on the cup. We are going to make a heart. Next, poke a bunch of holes around the outside using a needle. Focus on the shape and add additional lines or waves around it. With a razor blade, cut out a small plus sign on the bottom of the cup. And lastly, insert string lights through the holes. Do the same with the rest of the cups. This little project will only take half an hour at most. Sarah managed to reuse her party cups and cozy up her bedroom with this warm light decor. Every single cup has been customized with a different pattern, giving it a unique feel. It's quite cool, isn't it? Hey Crafty Pandas, I hope you enjoyed these home decor ideas. Let us know which of them you're going to use next in the comments down below. If you want to learn more, feel free to check out our older videos. Hit the subscribe button and ring that bell to stay tuned for more.